This is for all seniors care, for your water bubble tube, as well as your podium base. So the podium base is the unit down here at the bottom. It's got mirrors on two sides, and it usually sits into a corner. So that way those two mirrors are available for the outside, the finished edges. And then back at the very back wall side is where you're gonna have your electrical and it's got a space to plug your items in and out from. It's a soft padded top that goes on top and slides down on top of, let's see if I can make it visual work for you. So this pad sits on top of your wood frame. Once your wood frame is assembled, you can put it all together. Um, the four pieces all match into one another and the white pad sits on top so that anybody can sit on it. And once you've plugged it in, it easily comes on like this. Starts off at magenta, the bubbles come up the top. And I'm gonna turn off the extra light so we can get a better visual of it for you. And you'll have your fish that you can take off and put inside of it. You should have nine fish to go inside there, those plastic ones. And the top of your tube can come off. Give it a squeeze and a squish to add more water back in. This gives those twists back and forth and up it comes so that it can come off and put the water back in. Then just replace that cap and push it down. There's a little air hole here in the top to allow for ventilation. We do suggest that you put in perhaps two cups of water for your 1.75 tubes, or two, sorry, two cups of um, vinegar for your 1.75 tubes, just to make the water a little more alkaline and less prone to infection control. The other piece that you have in your room is the fiber optic wall sconce, which is the top mirror box. This part here is your wall sconce, and then below it is your tails. And your tails, I'm gonna turn those on in this room. So this is a separate room, not yours. So they start off as well at magenta. The tails should be installed so that when you look under your unit, there's no visual of the black um, metal piece that's at the end of these tails. The black should be right up inside of the housing and attached to in behind. So this mirror box here comes off and you can attach the white metal um, electrical part to the fiber optic tails, screw it all together, attach that metal box to the wall, screw it to the wall, and then put your mirror back on. We do suggest that you put a small screw into the front of your um, box at the top as well as at the bottom so that, I can see the notice here, but there's a little tiny screw there as well um, to help hold your metal or your plastic uh, mirror on here. So with your fiber optic tails, you can braid them. You can use them to move and pull, drape them over the shoulders. You can put pony beads onto them. You can divide them out, comb them. There's all kinds of activities that can be used for fiber optic tails. Making sure that a little bit of weight. People often think when they're blue that they're gonna be cold, so we're developing trust and when they're red, they're hot. There's no temperature change, no temperature difference in them. In fact, the fiber optic tails are all plastic. There's no glass as the old ones were. You can see them shimmering here in the light. And they're able to change color slowly and automatically by themselves. They, they rotate through the pre-prescribed colors of the unit. Um, so it's interesting with some of your clients and your patients that you'd be able to, or the residents who are with you for this uh, case, say, does this feel cool or does this feel warmer? Um, given the color, if there's a communication barrier, no one letting them that trust barrier to develop that, you know, red is not hot, these are safe, I'm giving you something that's safe, even though you might think it's hot because they're red, they're not, or just because they're blue, they're not going to be cold. But we can play with the, the mind that way, if someone's feeling too warm, we can put them on and put them on the blue, maybe it makes their brain think that they're cooler. So I can pop back up over here, the bubble column, sorry, in the background is a projector, I'm trying to get that out of my frame of vision. So you can see the fish moving around inside. If you have any questions on any of the products, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Our office number is 905-492-9211. My name is Leslie.
Or you can definitely speak with Carol. So when they turn off, you can either unplug them or if your room is equipped with switches on a switch bank that your electrical just turns off as you turn off light switches, as this room is, it turns off your room.